hello everyone welcome back to the show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix apex legends is crashing at startup it is not launching or won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck on loading screen black screen and all these kind of issues and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the worker now so if you're for the first time all you need to do is you just need to start with a restart restarting the pc and that is what you have to do for that we just need to go over here in the start click on this icon go for a simple restart after restart is successfully done just try to play the game once again and that is going to work for you in most cases and that is how it's going to work for you so this is just a basic start so this is what we have to do moving to the next one is all about we need to verify integrity of game file that is what we need to do for that we just need to click on this one right click and we have to go to properties now from here go to local file now from here go to verify integrity of game file so what happens is this particular step is quite important when you click on this one the uh, thing is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by verify integrity of game file so over here as you can see the game is around 59 gb so even if we click on this that's going to take a little bit of time so it will check all the files and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular default end that is what you have to do so once the verified integrity of game file is done you just have to launch the game and try to play that is going to work for you in most cases and this need to work it for many of the users and you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to run the game as an administrator for running the game as an administrator we need to we have two method the first one we can launch the game from here by going to the steam we have a shortcut method where you can go to the game another one is we can go to the game by going over here in the file explorer and you can go to this pc so this is all about navigating to the game folder going to uh, this one like you know going to uh, the installation folder and all those things so we need to know this particular step because down the road we need uh, a lot of stage where we need to add this up so for that we just need to open lobby to see from here go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now from here go to steam apps from here go to common now from here select apex legends and from here we just need to launch the application so by this we can launch the game and that is how you can do this app so this is how we can launch the game from the installation folder apart from this there is one more thing we can also navigate to the same installation folder from the steam for that we can just click over here right click and go to properties now from here go to uh, local file click on browse you are very easily redirected to the same installation folder that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common apex legends now from here you can launch the game as well so uh, this is how we can launch the game from the installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam try to launch the game from the installation folder this need work out for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to launch the game i mean we need to change uh, first before that we need to run the game as an administrator for that we need to go to the installation folder for that we just need to click over here right click and go to properties now from here go to local file click on browse you are redirected to this one now from here we just need to go to the apex legend or uh, this one right click and go to show more options and go to properties go to compatibility now from here go to run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for okay and try to play the game this is an important step which you need to do and uh, after running the game as an administrator this did work out for many users you can try this out so if this is not the case we need to uh, do one more step if after trying running the game as administrator if it's not working we can change this up so uh, next one is all about from here we need to run the game in compatibility mode for that we just need to click over here right click go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here under the compatibility mode you need to select this one and run this program in compatibility mode it should be selected so over here first go for windows 7 go for apply and go for okay and try to play the game if windows 7 is not working change this to windows 8 go for apply and go for okay and try to play the game so most probably when you run the game on administrator as well as running the game in compatibility mode should be working for you as well so you can try this out these are the steps but for some users you know it ended up in a lot of issue if that is the case is happening for you then you just need to change it as well for that just right click and go to show more options go to properties once again sorry 
uh, just go over here, select this, right click, go to show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now we made changes like run the game in the compatibility mode as well as uh, run this in the administrator. We should be change this. That is change the run uh, in, in the compatibility mode should be changed. Now as well as as you can see, change this. So that is running the game in the uh, administrator should be changed as well. Once it has been changed, because for some users this uh, worked, but if it's not working, just changes because or else you'll end up in a lot of issue. Then go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game as well. That is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to change the Windows language to English. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Now from here, go to settings. Now from here, go to time and language. Over here, select the language and region. Now, if we have set the language to any native language like Japanese, Chinese, Arabic, etc. Change the language to English and that is going to work for you for sure. Now, change this back. Now, go to date and time. Over here, as you can see, you have to set time and uh, date and time set into completely fine. That is, time zone should be corrected as well as uh, time zone and time should be correct. Okay. This is an important step as well. So, you just have to change this as well. And once this being set into correct, just go back and try to play the game because this particular step changing uh, the windows language to english as well as uh, turning on uh, this one time zone should work for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to launch the game by pressing alt and tab so just click on the play button at the moment when you're clicking on the play button press alt and tab together on the keyboard so this particular step did work at many users so that is why i'm recommending you, you can try this out so that is for sure is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file for that we just need to go over here in the file explorer go to documents now from here we just need to if you have the folder for apex legends just delete the folder so you'll be losing all the game progress but that is fine you just have to do it up at the street worker for many users so you can try this out as well once you're done with this one you just need to close this and go back and try to play the game as well Next one is all about, we need to unplug all the USB devices. So if you're trying to play the game with a laptop or a PC and the all the USB ports are completely filled with, maybe you're trying to play with the controllers, maybe the Logitech wheels are connected for many other game. As you can see, I play F1 2022 a lot of times. So if the wheels are connected, you know, uh, if the controllers are already connected and if the USB ports are filled with a lot of things, then the best thing what you need to do is you just need to remove everything from the USB port. Just keep it, remove everything from the USB port. Then, <coughs> sorry, now launch the game. After launching the game, if you wanted to play the game with the controller, just connect it back to the controller, then try to play the game. So this did work out for many users. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go to control panel. Now from here, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, keep scrolling down and navigate to Apex Legends. So over here, as you can see, it's already added. So Apex Legends, it's already added. And you should mark this private and public should be checked. Imagine if the game is not added here, then what to do? If that is the case, we just need to click on allow another app. Go for browse. Now from here, go to this PC. Go to local disk C. Now we need to navigate to the installation folder. That is why I said we should know how to navigate to installation folder. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder. Now go to steam apps. Now from here go to common. Now go to apex legends. Now from here just select the respective one and add it as well. So uh, over here it is already added. So you can add, this is how you can add this up. And once it has been added successfully, we can just close this and go back and try with launch the game. That might work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to perform a clean boot. For that, we need to go over here in the search, go to system configuration, go to services over here. Now go to hide all Microsoft services, then go for disable all. It might ask you for a restart. If the restart is being asked, just go for restart and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we need to uh, disable the Steam overlay. For that, we just need to go over here, select the game, right click and go to properties. Now we just need to go over here under general, make sure the enable the Steam overlay should be unchecked and you have to uh, uncheck this. And once it being set into this, you just have to close this and try to play the game as well. 
Next one is all about we need to close all the overlay and overclocking application. For that reason, we have to go over here in the start, right click and go to task manager. Down frame here, just open this and you will be find a lot of apps here, which is actually running in the background. This is one of the main reason many users are ending up in crashing issue. So here, if you find uh, overlay application that comes with uh, Discord and all those things, if you just keep scrolling down, you can see the Discord is here. Actually, the Discord is an overlay application. So we just need to end it up. So for just go for end the task. Simultaneously, if you find anything over here, you can also end it up as well. And regarding the overclocking applications, what you need to do is you just need to keep scrolling down. And if you find anything like, you know, Reva Tuner, uh, MSI Afterburn and anything kind of these things running in the background, we can completely remove it because overclocking applications is a very important step and it drained out a lot of performance and that is what you have to do. So once remove everything from there, most probably after closing the overlay and overclocking applications, you just need to close this and we just need to go back and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to do is we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search now go to graphics settings now from here as you can see many games are already added here so in the same way we need to add the game for that just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local disc c keep scrolling down and navigate to program file so 86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now from here go to steam amps now from here go to common Select Apex Legends. Now just add this one. Go for add. So over here, as you can see, it's already added. So if you find this, just click on this one and go for option. And as you can see, most probably this will be like let Windows decide. Okay. So if the it means set into let Windows decide, you need to change this to high performance because uh, that is an important step. So it is draining, uh, it is running by using this maximum design and most probably that is going to help you guys out. So just change this to high performance. So let Windows decide change this to high performance, go for save, then close this and try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to increase virtual memory. For that, we need to go over here in the search. Now go for view advanced system setting. Now go over here to the advanced now just click on settings, go to advanced once again, click on change. Now from here under the virtual memory, you should uncheck this. If this selected, you will not be able to select the local disk. So uncheck this. Now once the local disk should be selected where the game is installed. Once after that, just go over here to the custom size. Here we have to give the value for initial size as well as maximum size. So initial size should be based on the RAM. So if you don't know how to check RAM of your computer, just go over here in the search. Now from here, go to settings. Now from here, go to system over here. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to above. Now from here, you will be able to find 32 GB is the RAM. So this is how you can find the RAM. Once you find the RAM, you just need to close this. Now we need to give the value for initial size as well as maximum size. So we need to do the calculation. So we need a calculator. So just go over here. Now go to calculator. So multiply 32 GB into 1024. So 1024 is a constant value. So just multiply your RAM. So if your RAM is 4, 4 into 1024. So here my RAM is 32 GB. So that is why I'm multiplying it with 1024. So that brings you 32,768. Now this is the value, not this is the value. Just you need to multiply it with 1.5. So that is 49,158. Because why I multiplied with 1.5? That is initial size. So just paste it. Now we have to give the value for maximum size. That is 32,000, 32 GB into 1024. Now I have to multiply it with three. That brings you 98,304. So copy this and you have to paste it as well. Once it's been set into 98,304, so just go for OK. Once after that, try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. For this particular step, it worked for many users and you can try this out as well. Next one is all about update your Windows. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here at the bottom left, there is Windows update. Go to here. Now make sure the uh, Windows updates are correct. That means uh, it should be up to date. And over here, as you can see, once you update the Windows, just if you're getting any update like this, go for download and install and set the Windows into the latest version. Once after that, try to play the game. That did work out for many users as well. Next one, we need to update the graphics card manually. For that, we need to go over here. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD users. If you're on the NVIDIA, you have to select the details, Geoforce, 
so the respective uh, series on your product series everything should be selected once after that set the windows operating system if it is windows 10 go for this if you are on windows 11 go for this one go for start search now if you go for start search you will be getting the latest versions over here you can scroll down you will be able to find this up so over here march 21 2023 it's been released so that is the latest one and even if you go for the 23 that is also latest which is download this one and install it on your pc and try to play the game after a restart if you're on the amd just go like this select the respective one go for submit and once after that you will be getting the options for windows 11 as well as windows 10 so if you're on windows 11 download in this adrenaline version and if you're on windows 10 download this adrenaline version as well and try to play the game next one is all about after installing the graphics card try to play the game if this is not working we need to change this to uh, Microsoft Visual C++, we need to install this for that we just need to go over here. Now from here we need to download this one. So we, you should know which one you need to download because it depends on your system type. So if you don't know how to check the system type, just go over here in the search. Now from here go to settings. Now from here go to system at the top. Keep scrolling down, go to about. Now from here also you can see the system type is 64-bit operating system. So this is how you can check the system type. So now I understood that is my x64. So I have to go back. Now download this one, download and install this. Once after that, try to play the game after a restart and most probably this has to be worked. But some users, what happens is after updating the graphics card to the latest version, they end up in a lot of issue. If that is the case is happening for you, then you just need to go over here, right click and go to device manager. Go to display adapters, right click over here, right click and go to properties. Now go to driver. There is an option called roll back driver. So just roll back the driver. And once you're done with rolling back the drivers, you just need to go back to the same. So instead of downloading the latest versions of graphics card, just download the older version. That is on January 24, 2023 is fine. And if you have anything on February, that is also fine because the latest versions might have a lot of bug, which is causing the issue. So you just have to uh, download and install the older versions and once after that just try to play the game as well. Because uh, lowering down the graphics card did work out for many users and you can try this out as well that is going to work for you. Next one is all about, next one I mean last and least one is all about, we need to uninstall the game and reinstalling it back. For that we just need to go over here, right click and go to manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back you should go back and you should install the game. But keep in mind when you are installing back, it should not be on the same local disk. It can be any other drive because installing on the same local disk is not going to work. So install it on any other local disk and that is going to work for you as well. Change the location of local disk. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out. When you are having an issue with Apex Legends is crashing and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.